This incident happened up in San Francisco. The victim's name is Banco Brown and uh, the security guard. Uh, his name is Michael Earl Wayne Anthony. Here goes the clip. Street Walgreens store last month. KTV's Christian Captain sat down with the district attorney this morning to talk about her decision. And the DA says the guard is saying this shooting was in self-defense. It doesn't appear that San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins released her report about her decision to not charge Michael Earl Wayne Anthony, the Walgreens security guard who shot and killed Banco Brown out of Walgreens on Market Street, April 27th. We are not going to be filing any charges against Mr. Anthony, the security guard, in connection with the shooting of Banco Brown at this time. Uh, we do not believe that there is sufficient evidence to overcome uh, what we would expect his defense of self-defense to be. The DA also released the surveillance video from Walgreens that shows how the shooting unfolded. The video shows Banco Brown carrying items towards the front door and Michael Earl Wayne Anthony stopping him. The two get into a physical altercation with Anthony. Right, I want to stop it right there, FG, because this is the part where I think this is where you, you're going to ask for trouble um, every single time. Now, the, the guy was, Banco Brown was trying to walk out the door, but the security right. said, no, 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 you can't, you just stole that. You you can't leave here. Now, right. at this point, you're supposed to say, all right, you got me, uh, my bad here, and, and end it. But this dude didn't want to end it. He wanted to keep the stuff and then create a physical confrontation with the dude. At that point, I think, you know, anything's anything's a go now. I don't know. I was like, look, you friends with Banco Brown or something, homie? Because if the way I saw it, the security guard took off on him, homie. You know what I mean? If you look at it, how you think the dude got over there on the floor on the ground? Security guard fired on him twice. You know, uh, it's your job to, yeah, stop somebody from going out. He fired on him, knocked him on the ground. You know, I don't, yeah, back it up just a second and watch that security guard. Look, right here, as soon as they play it, the security guard stopped him. He, Try to stop him twice, right? Look, look, look. Then he took off on him. You know what I mean? That, yeah. Boom, boom. Took security, knocked the bags out of his hand. He didn't even have bags in his hands no more. He dropped the bags, and the, the security socked him up a little bit, and, and Banco Brown fell on the ground, bro. You know, that's a damn near assault on the security guard, but okay, we're going to say he doing the job. You know what I mean? Um, what's next? All right, let me continue. But you must have meant to say my friends with uh, – uh, Michael yeah, yeah, Anthony. I meant to say, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, security guard, yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. Nah, just for the record, I don't know none of these cats from the Bay Area. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue playing it. All right, we, we you saw that flinch, right? See that flinch, but see how he back and he flinched. But when dude actually pulled his gun out, dude started to retreat. You know what I mean? And um, okay, but yeah, some but bullshit, but he turned. Okay, he he pulls his gun out. He and he's he's got it pointed down. But this guy is still antagonizing him. Banco but Brown he don't have is a weapon, though. But he don't have a weapon. Now that's all he got is his fist. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. And I think that's what he told uh, the San Francisco PD. He's like, I thought this guy had a knife, or I thought this guy had some sort of weapon, because if he pulled his gun out right there, and he just flinched, he, he, what do you think he said at that moment when he just flinched on the security guard? Man, he probably said, shoot me damn fool. He could have said anything, you yeah. know, but, but at the same time, me, me, I'm just saying, you know, people going to feel how they feel. I'm going to say straight up that I don't feel like he should have shot the dude. All right. He didn't see a weapon at all. No matter what you think he had, he didn't see nothing. Correct. He didn't see it. All right. Let me, let me continue playing it. Own words from a police interview the night of the shooting about the moments leading up to that single shot. The only reason why I did that is because... I felt like I was in danger. And if I would have let that person go, I would have been on. So once I let that person go, that's what I dream of. I didn't point it straight at her, but I had it like, down for me. At the ground, like they trained us. Ultimately, police did not find a knife at the scene or on Brown's person, but the DA says at the time of the altercation, there was no way for Anthony to know that. We have the benefit of hindsight, right? Now we understand that Banco Brown did not have a knife, did not have a weapon, but at that moment in time, it's about what he, the security guard perceived or believed. And was that reasonable? Since the shooting, San Francisco's supervisors have called on DA Jenkins to release the video. And today, Supervisor Shimon Walton released a statement reading in part, quote, DA Jenkins' decision 
to not charge gives every armed security guard in San Francisco a license to have an open season to shoot and kill black and transgender people for alleged shoplifting. All right. So uh, let me pause it right there. Uh, I, I didn't know originally that this was a, a transgender person that was um, transitioning from from female to male. So I guess original this is a, a female in, in essence, right, that he was fighting with. Okay, because I was damn sure finna say, well, what do transgender people got to do with? It? Yeah, yeah, so no, I did not know it either. But to me, uh, it 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 don't matter. It just I, like I, I mean, it, it's it's kind of what dudes saying. Now security gonna feel like you know the open season on they can just bust on people and get away with it with you know because somebody's stealing something. You know what I mean? I just don't think it was the enough threat to shoot the dude. That's all, or the 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 person. You know what I mean? So. Um, that's so, all I'm saying. Okay. So if you, if you think that, that, uh, Michael Anthony overreacted, then you believe that th there's some wiggle room here for him to be charged with something. No doubt. You, you, you was never, um, how can I put it? His life was never in danger. You know what I mean? In order for you to be how it's, how it's written in the books is, um, in order for you to have, shoot somebody, you got to prove that your life is in danger. That's including in my own home, Alex. We in California, you know, in case people don't know. Um, people come, somebody break into my home. Um, I catch them in my kitchen. They start to run. I shoot them in the back. I'm going to jail. I can only shoot them if they're attacking me. You know, this don't apply in the street. It apply in my own home, but it don't apply in the street. Dude lunged at him, did a little flinch. You know, after you done beat his ass, you know what I mean? You wasn't worried about him. You see how you manhandled him the first time. So you wasn't worried about him beating you up, you know, at all. You know, you say you might have thought he had some or, or things of that nature. But at the same time, you never saw nothing. So um, I, I believe they may double back and, you know, I, I believe they may double back and refile. I, I, you know, I'm not hoping they do or nothing like that. I'm just saying it's room in there for them to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could always refile on these. Let me play the rest of the clip. He's calling for the state attorney general to review this case. D.A. Jenkins says she mourns the loss of life alongside those who have protested over Brown's death. I share in their outcry. I share in the sadness of this tragedy. Uh, but I have to base my decisions on the law and not on emotion or on what's maybe politically advantageous for me. The case has led to protests and anger from the family and supporters of Banco Brown. The district attorney says the case remains open since it is a homicide investigation. And if evidence is uncovered that changes the narrative, her office could file charges in this case at some later date in San Francisco. There you go, FG. He just said what you just said, that, um, that there's always room to charge at some later point in time when it comes to a, a homicide. So, but look, this is what I want to say. If, if this guy was threatening the security guard saying, I will beat your ass or I will shoot you or I will stab you, which is what I believe he told the police. He said, we don't have audio of it. Maybe they got audio. Then I think he was in, uh, he had every right to, to say that I had a reasonable amount of fear and, and I think he was had every right to legally shoot this guy if he made any any threat to him at that door. I mean, you got to you know, you got a certain point, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's basically like they picking and choosing what they well, I mean, we've seen people get shot for a, a lot more and get charged. You know what I mean? We've seen people attack people, you know, different uh, uh, various occasions and and still get charged for shooting, them. you know, so. Um, you up in San Francisco, you know, I believe that now that you're saying that this was a transgender person, I believe that, you know, we finna see the, uh, transgender community at work. Um, that's what I'm finna look at from here on out. Do they, do they change it based on the pressure that the transgender community put on the, on the, on the, on the district attorneys or put on the city to, to charge this dude? You know what I mean? I mean, at worst, it's going to be a manslaughter, you know what I mean? At worst, you know? Um, um, and the lesser, lesser charge manslaughter at worst as well, you know? So even if this dude was convicted, I mean, you know, he looking at two, three years at tops to me, you know? Um, but I want to see if the, if the transgender community can change the, 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 the minds of the city of San Francisco to charge this dude. Well, you know, Black Lives Matter is already on this, um, the Los Angeles chapter for Black Lives Matter is all, all over this. Uh, one of my former colleagues who's the head of the L.A. 
Black Lives Matter, Melina Abdullah. She believes that this guy should be charged. And most of the time I agree with Melina. I went to school with Melina. But on this one, I do not believe that uh, Michael Anthony should be charged. I know it sounds a little insensitive uh, because Bank Banco Brown lost uh, his life. Is it his life or her life? Um, his life, I guess, is what it is now. Uh, he lost his life. But hey, when you when you shoplifting and then you gonna try to squabble up with the secure an armed security guard, I, I, I gotta give I gotta give bro a pass. And let me also point out the security guard is also black. Both these people are black, so this can't no be looked. They can't they can't this can't be looked at as a black issue. Imagine if the security guard was white. Oh man, this 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 town would be going crazy right now. Well, no, let me reiterate though, Alex. For me, it's not about him being charged. The security guard. It's about if he should have shot him or not. You know, I'm not speaking on the charges per se. I'm, I'm never going to say a man should be charged or or not, uh, things of that nature, especially if he was deemed to be innocent during the crime. You know what I mean? So let me let me clear that up. If I you know, if anybody thought that it's not about me saying he he should be charged or not. I'm saying he shouldn't have shot. him. You know, um, that's where I'm standing at. He shouldn't have shot. him. You know, whether he be charged or not, he he be charged or not. But at the same time, he shouldn't have shot him, period, bro. You yeah, know but, what I mean? And, but that, that that means in your eyes, he he committed a, a a crime then. True, but we still talking about. I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, I think he should go. He, they should make sure they charge him. I'm not saying that. You know what I mean? I beat cases before, and I don't want to be charged my damn self. So, I, but mm -hmm. I'm saying, you know, from a black man shooting another black man is what I'm saying. He shouldn't have shot him. You know, and uh, and uh, you know, and I felt he was wrong in shooting him. So if wrong came with charges, that's that's something different. But I feel like, man, he just he just gunned down his own people, you know what I mean, over, over, over something you protecting the white man shit for. See, I don't even want to get into that part. I was trying to hold that part off. You're going to shoot a brother, homie, over something. You getting paid, what, $20 an hour, bro? I don't give a fuck if you getting paid $30 an hour. You know what I mean? You're going to shoot your people, you know, protecting these other people shit. Come on, homie, it's deeper than, it's deeper than that when I say he shouldn't have shot him. You know what I mean? So um, that's what it is. But I'm going to see if these people come and try to make them change the, the charges. You know what I mean? So, well, you know, I agree with you in, in terms of this. This is Walgreens. This is a corporation. It definitely bystanders should never intervene in trying to stop a shoplifter. We've been seeing that lately where customers are actually trying to stop shoplifters. But this was his job, though. This was Michael Anthony's job. And we all know. I know you know dudes who do security, FG. I know so many dudes that do security because it's it's sometimes like the easiest job to get. And sometimes they put pressure on you to do this job. You know, we're getting hit with insurance costs. Our insurance company is, is pissed off that uh, we, we got so much loss. I mean, you walk into the supermarket, all the alcohol is locked up. You can't even walk in the market and get a bottle of Hennessy because people like Bankroll Brown is constantly in there stealing the bottles. You can't even go into Ralph's um, and go down the hygiene aisle at nighttime. You got to go to the manager and say, hey, can you get me some um, deodorant and toothpaste down this aisle? Because people are constantly mm -hmm. stealing it. So uh, I understand that bro had to do his job and uh, I'm sure he had pressure from his boss. You know, do not let shop. Live. Do not let. Hey, yeah. hey, Alex, I got I got a uh, we got milk in the comments, man. Milk seven four <laughs> talking about it. He spit on. Him. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know if that's true, but he's saying, man, FG, if he spit on you, what would you do, man? So one thing about spitting, man, I don't play that spitting shit. And I probably wasn't a shiny, but I definitely probably would have bust him in his head with that pistol. You know, so I probably would have some some charges against me, but that spit and shit, Alice, if that's what he did, I could believe that's what could have could have triggered somebody to do something like that. Cause man, if when he did that flinch, remember he did the flinch? If yeah. he spit on him then, that could have even triggered more, man, to made him spit. But I don't know how true that is, you know. And I, and I guarantee you, when he did that flinch, he called him a bitch. <laughs> hey, no doubt. No doubt, but uh, but uh, unfortunately, though, man, he didn't have a weapon. You know what I mean? Just just when you go on what they say, you know, I can do on my own home. You know, uh, but you do have black on black violence, man. And then, you know, like I say, this should be treated as such. You know, um, transgender community shouldn't even get involved. This should be just treated as 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 how it happened. You know, two black men got into it, and one was killed, unfortunately. But uh. Because a person was transgender, I don't think that that the extra mile should be taken because of that. Just because you know, because of that, you know. Okay, so what I'm what I'm getting from you is you you think that 
that Mr. Anthony may have just shot and killed him out of emotion, not truly out of threat. Well, the, th the verbal threat, but not as, I mean, you know, Alex, you saw what I saw. He had one hand holding the bag. He had his other hand up, you know, he didn't have a weapon. You know, um, typically in California, I know California law pretty good. You know, you really have to be um, have a real form of threat. You know, even a pe person standing 10 feet away from you with a knife don't consider it as a threat. It consider it's a person 10 feet away from you with a knife in your hand until they lunge your way or until they start walking your way. Then, you know, typically, you know, you're able to shoot them and get away with it. You know, like I say, I'm not mad if you just do walk away with no charges at, at all. I'm just saying I don't think he should shot the other black man, per se, or black person, per se, um, under these circumstances at all. Well, look, Black Lives Matter is all over this. Um, black Lives Matter actually helped Jackie Lacey not get elected. I, I really I saw them do that uh, every day that they was at her office protesting. And who knows, maybe they might have so much impact. I don't know the Black Lives Matter up in the Bay Area, but I'm assuming they got a chapter up there. And uh, because this person was transgender, that also adds another layer to it. You saw what the guy said. 